Hello everyone, welcome back to Network 13. Today we're going to be doing a short video on this item here, which some of you may recognize. This is a USB to serial adapter board, and the IC on here is an FT232, which is manufactured by Future Technology Devices International. And what you do with this thing is you plug a USB cable in here, plug it into your PC, and this side presents you with TTL level signals for received data, transmitted data, data terminal ready, clear to send, and the header also gives you connections for ground and uh, VCC out from your USB connection. I purchased this item some time ago from an eBay seller and I want to see if I can get it working today. So I have it in my my, my uh, solderless breadboard right now, and I have a connection uh, here for ground. And that's going to my my um, my scope ground. I have another connection here on the TX line, and that's going to the center on my scope probe. I have a jumper here connecting TX to RX, so that we'll be able to test if this is working. We should be able to send characters here and then we have a null modem connection. The character should return back through the receive line and back to um, my PC. And this is the USB cable. Now I don't have it plugged into the PC yet. So we'll be doing that next. Okay, we've moved over to my laptop computer, which is running Windows 11. We're gonna look at the device manager so this is the list of peripherals and other gizmos and gadgets that are running on the, uh, on the machine right now. So we're going to plug in the cable for the adaptive board. See what happens here. Okay, list has refreshed and now we have a new item under ports called USB serial port COM3. So let's take a look at the properties for this. So the general tab we have the manufacturer is FTDI. Port settings are 9600 baud, 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit. Look at the driver tab. Driver provider is FTDI, driver details. Okay, this is what the loaded. Provider, Future Technology Devices International. So it looks like it loaded the driver okay. It is showing up as a, uh, as a uh, COM3 port. All right, let's go over to Visual Studio 2019, where I wrote a very quick and dirty console app in order to test this board out. So what this is going to do is I'm going to be able to enter strings or characters and send them to COM3 to the adapter board. Since the adapter board is wired for null modem, which means I have the TX and RX lines connected, any data that I sent to the board will be echoed back through COM3, and I should be able to read it here. So let me start this up. So just going to start off. We'll send hello. So program tells me it wrote five bytes to the serial port, received five bytes from the serial port, and the data that it received was hello. So I said hello, I received hello. Let's try something else now. Let's try some numbers. Six bytes written to the serial port, six bytes received from the serial port, and the numbers that I sent were echoed back. And let me try one more with some non-alphanumeric characters. 13 bytes sent, 13 bytes received, and they were echoed back. Now, if I remove the jumper from RX to TX, so in other words, if I open the null modem connection, I should not receive any characters back. So let's try that. I said hello now. I sent five characters, but I received zero, and hello was not echoed back. Okay, so this tells me that the uh, hardware is working correctly. So let's go back to the workbench. 
All right, we're back at the workbench now. We're gonna use the uh, console app that I wrote to send some characters to the adapter board. And we're gonna be capturing the signals on the scope screen. So I'm gonna start with a capital A. Okay, now I have the cursor is set to the width of one bit, so the default condition here is for the, um, the output to be high, which is 5 volts. Now, to start one packet, you start with a, the start bit, which, is, which pulls low, and then after the start bit, you begin the data field and this is the least significant bit so this would be one so we have one one we have no two no four no eight no 16 no 32 we do have a 64 we have no 128 so we have 64 bit and one bit so we have 65 decimal we look on my ASCII table, 65 decimal is the ASCII code for a capital A, which is what I sent. Okay. <laughs> now, after the most significant bit, we have the stop bit, and the stop bit goes high. So I'm going to send two, just to clear this up a little, let's show this a little clearer. I'm going to send two A's, two capital A's. So this is two capital A's. Now, we have our start bit, our one bit, no two, no four, no eight, no 16, no 32, 164, that's 65, no 128, and our stop bit. And then this starts the next packet here. So we will start with the start bit, which goes low, we have one one, no two, no four, no eight, no sixteen, no thirty-two, one sixty-four, no one twenty-eight. So we have sixty-five and sixty-five, which are two capital A's. And then we have at the end we have the stop bit. So let me try one more of these. Let's try. Let's see, let's try the uppercase U, uppercase U. So we have start bit, we have a one, no two, a four, no eight, a 16, no 32, a 64, and no 128. So we have 64, 80, 84, 85. So the the ASCII code decimal for capital U is 85. And then, of course, we have our stop bit. All right, this concludes our video for today. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below the video. Or you can email me at network13.contact at gmail.com. That's network13.contact at gmail.com. Please check out our other videos. I think I have 43 others now that are up. Um, if you enjoy what you see, uh, please consider subscribing. I think I'm at 785 subscribers as of today, which is December 25th, 2021, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone. And with that, I will say, as always, thank you for watching.